Hey gang, James Sinclair here, back with another video to help grow your business. And this one, I wanna tell you about how I've invested 100 grand in a pandemic to build a brand new business. And I wanna go into it, dive in deep into the detail, so in turn, it can help you grow your business, because I think it's paid off. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, and please give us a thumb up and comment below as we go. Let me know what you think about what I'm talking about, because that really does help the conversation go. And other people are probably thinking it, and when they read the comments, it helps them too. Right, let's get into it. So guys, as soon as this pandemic hit, I was like, oh my God, we're losing millions of pounds a month or literally a million pound a month is roughly what we bring in in revenue and about 800 to a million of that's going each month so some months we do 1.2 million to 1 million basically most of our turnover's gone and I realized that we was going to have to borrow a lot of money I wanted to keep some of my T team on staff I didn't want to furlough them in fact I had about 50,000 pounds a month of payroll for my key people still in place so that we could keep on building and developing the business in between this time now and when everything goes back open and I thought that was was the right thing to do. So on with that team, I said, look, to help towards your salary costs, let's build another business. And we did, we built a farm shop. It's called the Farm Shop at Marsh Farm. Usually when you build a business, here's the thing, right? If you was building a farm shop from scratch, you'd have to you know, invest a quarter of a million quid into freezers, into shelving, into lighting. We had this old bar that really wasn't doing anything. Basically, I said, well, let's build it bit by bit. And as we bring in the turnover, we'll reinvest it into into shelving, into fixtures, into fittings, into more stock, into more product, and we'll get an alcohol license as we go. And bit by bit, as each week went on, we got better and better. In fact, as we, soon as first we opened it, we did it as a drive through click and collect. It was literally like a McDonald's drive through and a supermarket combined. Here's the thing, you know, and I've been talking about this uh, for all my videos recently, people return back to normal really quickly. It's like an elastic band, you release the elastic band, they go back to normal. And here's the thing with our farm shop, we was doing 80% click and collect and 20% in store at the start of the pandemic. But now that's gone to 80% of people shopping in store and 20% click and collect. Now what I love about this business is truly entrepreneurial. Well, we was bringing in say a thousand pounds a day of sales, then 2000 pounds worth of day of sales. And as it's coming in, we're investing that into more stock. We've actually stock in Cook, which is an amazing frozen food company prepared by chefs. That was seven grand to set that all up. But we brought in enough cash and we managed to convince them to sell to us. Then we started going to Spittlefields Market in London than every morning getting the fresh produce. We're now about to buy lorries, uh, sorry, not lorries, vans to go and deliver products, but we're doing that from the sales that are coming in. It really reminds me of when I first started out in my entrepreneurial life, where you would have to do some sales and invest that cash into growing the business. I suppose as things has developed, developed for us, what's happened is I would you know, go and get a bank loan or use my personal cash and then invest it into the business to grow. But in the early days, you would do it through using a cash flow. And that's what we've tried to do here. So we brought in about £100,000 worth of sales and every single penny of those £100,000 we've reinvested back in to make the best farm shop that we can. And I think there's a big lesson here for entrepreneurs. In these times of pandemics, of things not being usual, recessions, you'll find that your customers forgive you. And this is what I really found with the farm shop. People were forgiving us that we had stock just on tables with tablecloths on, that we were using bits and bobs that we could refiners to set up our shop, old counters, old tills, and we developed and we developed more and more. One of the big things that we used was Shopify. I think what I've really found here is when you set up a business, especially a brick and mortar business, the website's the last thing that you think about. It's all about getting that brick and mortar business opened. But because we started as a click and collect business, we made sure our website was all singing and all dancing, and we've been really impressed with Shopify. And that Shopify website drives our in -line, in online, sorry, in-store point of sale. And so because we've got this fantastic system set up, we're doing more sales every single day and getting more customers coming from further afield. And as soon as this pandemic's up, we're going to, sort about the paper there as if by magic, as soon as this pandemic's over, we're going to get onto some real super sexy marketing. And I can't wait to share with you exactly how we're going to get more people into our stores. As I'm making this video, we're doing about £10,000 a week. It's the 15th of June, 2020. I can't wait to see World Bead by Christmas. I want to turn this into a million million pound business, a million pound revenue business that we started in a pandemic from scratch. You're going to be following the journey here on the YouTube channel. And if you ever pass us by in Essex and you want to check out some good quality produce, the best butcher's meat, homemade bread, well not homemade bread, but baker's bread at least that tastes homemade, brilliant vegetables and unique products, then come and join us at marshfarmshop.co.uk. Little plug there, I know most of you are not from Essex, but if you are, please pop in and see us. If you love this video and want to grow your business, please watch the rest of my video 
videos. This one's a corker. Click on it here and subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And let me know what you're thinking of this video in the comments below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.